Hi there. So it's a beautiful spring day in Chicago, and that reminds me of something us social media consultants talk about every season, so cliche, and that's spring cleaning your news feeds. Now, this isn't something you only can do during spring, of course. You can and should do this year round. Why? Well, several reasons. It's important to have a news feed full of content that for us is relevant to our business, relevant to our interests, and something that also brings us peace, joy, education, and less stress. There's so much going on in our news feeds today. There are ways to control it. And there may be a variety of reasons for professional and personal reasons that you wanna stop seeing certain types of posts or a certain individual's or business's posts. So let's talk about how to make that happen. There are ways to make that happen in every social channel. They're referred to in different ways. So on Facebook, to the top right of a post are three little dots. You can click those three little dots and either snooze the person for 30 days, which means you'll take a little break and they won't know. The other thing you can do is completely unfollow the person, which means they won't come back on day 31. They won't come back until you go to the profile or go to the page and opt to follow them again. Now with each of these options, you still remain friends or you still remain liking the page and the other person has no idea that you've taken this action. On LinkedIn, it's very similar. You have three little dots to the top right of a post. Now it works a little bit differently. You can either hide a certain post. So let's say for example, there's a post that you're constantly seeing because it's getting a lot of activity and you just don't want to see it anymore. That action would hide that one post. The only option you have to see seeing a person or business's content in your newsfeed on LinkedIn is to unfollow. So you'll still be connected as connections on LinkedIn, or you'll still like the company page or be following the company page. You just will not see their content anymore. Now in Instagram, you also have a few different options. Same thing, three little dots to the top right of the post. You can mute the person and it also gives you the option to mute the posts and mute the stories so if for some reason you just don't want to see the person's posts but you're fine with seeing their stories showing up at the top you can do that as well now keep in mind that there's a difference in language and terminology between Facebook and Instagram even though Facebook owns Instagram if you unfollow on Instagram you're actually going to unfollow that account so whereas on Facebook, if you unfollow the person, you're still friends or you still like the page, you just won't see the content. On Instagram, if you make that choice, you actually will unfollow the account and the person may find out about it. And that's really what this is all about, right? Not offending people. No, really what this is about is finding peace in your day, finding peace with social media and staying focused on the business at hand. So get to some spring cleaning, make your news feeds more relevant, more productive, and more happy. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll get to those next time.